Hello, 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 collective. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every person that comes to the reading with a clear, concise message from you. So the card that we got today, excuse me, in regards to money, because this is the money and biz and career reading, is a judgment card. Dun, 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 dun. Not really. Um, so this card is related to the high priestess. Um, it reduces to a two. It's the 20 card. So this talks about with the high priestess in terms of um, career, business, money. The high priestess is that soft whisper that's been with you all of your life that's telling you the direction you should be going and what you should be doing, what you're good at, that you have a talent, that it could be raw talent. It's, you know, unexpressed, uh, but it's your choice. It's your decision to follow that. So with the judgment card is saying that this thing, this inner calling, this knowing is coming up again for you. The timing around this is October 21st to November 20th. This talks about maybe Scorpio season. So deep, Scorpio, uh, Sagittarius season. It talks about a deep time, a period of transition. Also, it talks about making a judgment to move on. Okay. It talks about, it's a day of reckoning, reckoning with yourself. It's like you're, you're being critical, using critical thinking to, uh, weigh up the pros and the cons of leaving something behind, taking a stand and making a hard choice here in your career, in your finances. The two of swords is at the bottom of the deck. And this talks about unexpressed creativity. So it's like we were meant to create. You want to express your creativity. You can only do that by way of doing something for yourself, maybe even having your own business. So right now, some of you could be at a place of trying to figure out what that is, how you should do it, how you can bring it into fruition. But you know, it's coming back up for you again. Okay. You may have put it down, pushed it down, not thought about it. Um, moved on from it, but it's coming back up, especially with all of these uh, planets in retrograde. We'll be coming out of retrograde soon. Um, this is uh, you seeing maybe things in a new light. You're seeing it in a new light. You're seeing that you need to you need to hear the call and you need to answer the call. You know, the universe is, is calling you to call judgment on yourself. Awaken something in you that that spiritual side in you, that um, that creative side in you. It talks about you need to purge, so let something go so that you can have attainment, achievement, fulfillment. It's near, but not before you let something go. It's like you're holding on to the past and you're trying to go into the new. It's the exact analogy that I give all the time. When you say you want a new house, new house, you get the new house and on moving day, the movers come and you're like, yes. Okay. So I would like you to pick this house up and go put it in my new house. And it's like, what? You've got to let the old house go. You got to let the old life go. You got to let the old job go. You got to let the old way of doing it go. This is also maybe, um, it's like up leveling. You need to hear the call. Some of you just having like a, a spiritual awakening to the fact that you should be doing so much more. And it's like pieces of your life are coming together. Okay. Um, you may even be in like some group therapy or you need to get in some type of group setting so that you can feed off of and feed into and so that the, the vibration can, um, the momentum can keep going, keep the momentum going monthly conference call each and every month. If you want to be around business minded individuals like yourself, the link is below. It's like some of you need to be in some type of group setting. You also need to like forgive yourself for a past behavior. Maybe you just didn't take advantage of, maybe you didn't do in the past. You kind of come out of that or you, you the hang up. It's like, it's hanging you up. This talks about the winter time the judgment card and then the two of swords. It's like, this is a time of uh, weighing up the pros and the cons, uh, deliberation. You're going to have to 
It's also talk, it talks about cooperation. You need to cooperate with yourself and the universe. It, it like calmly express yourself and make a choice here or a decision. Some of you are make, are not making a decision out of fear of maybe upsetting your life, upsetting the apple cart as it is. It's like you're trying to consider all options and remain peaceful about it. But there's a high level of anticipation and anxiety. This could just be a period for you because some of you, when you're on the brink of success, achievement, attainment, fulfillment. This is a period of gestation for you, like waiting, anticipating. It's going to be great success in your near future. But you need to focus on negotiation or negotiating with yourself. What works best for you? Reunions and reconciliation could happen right now. So you could be reuniting with a person, place, or thing, maybe even a job, going back to something. You need to weigh the pros and the cons of a very important decision. Be cautious not to make rash decisions. Like, slow it down, ask for guidance, and then move forward. The timing in the Two of Swords is September 20th through October 6th. And then we got Judgment coming in October 20th or 21st through November 20th. So it's like you got to make a decision and then you're at a place of um, you're going to have attainment, fulfillment. Wow, you're going to have a big ass wish fulfillment for yourself. Maybe in, in, in the lines of technology or within a large group setting or group setting within a friendship group, but it's going to be in a, a large magnitude where people are going to look up to you or looking up to you, or you're going to get something or what you've been hoping and wishing for, praying for is coming into you. But it's about being deliberate about your decisions right now, being determined, determination, deliberation, and moving forward and letting something go. Um, this might be a period where you get, it's a lot of transition. It's a lot going on. You might have to be transferring money from one account to the next. And, you know, it's, it's a lot going on. You're learning on the job, if you will. You're learning how to do, you're learning how to go, you're learning how something. Um, wow. But what is coming to you is the Ace of Pentacles, the opportunity for wealth. Okay. The seed being planted for wealth. Opportunity we're giving you says the universe for wealth. The Aces are portals to the divine. So it's like the divine peaking you know, uh, through the veil and giving you opportunity. And it says, if you don't see the opportunity, look again, it's there. The opportunity is here for the taking for you to move in, in, in line with the universe, start something, be strong, be courageous, know that psychologically you can do this. You can manifest, you can actually do this self actualization. You can start that business. You can start that workout program. Though this is about business and a career, you can do it. You can make it happen. You have to be strong though. You might even get some type of loan. Other people's money is coming up. I don't know. You could be helping other people with their money, their business, some intimate conversations happening in regards to money. It could be inheritance coming in. It could be a loan. It could be taxes. You could do taxes. I don't know. It's something about other people's money, the lion and the lamb. You have the opportunity to kind of be both at the same time, duality, and then also um, maybe balance, compassion with yourself and your decisions that you're making surrounding your career and your finances. It says big, large money with the strength card here. This could be a change in career altogether, a change in trajectory. It could come in really quickly. We're talking about two weeks or less. Wow. And it brings you to a level of abundance more than enough. It brings you to a fulfillment, attainment, fertility. The two of swords talks about fertility. Also the queen of pentacles talks about fertility too. She typically has a, ra a rabbit on her card. Um, it talks about, um, the queens are the doers of the tarot. So it's going to be like, you're going to be making money. You're going to be doing stuff to make money. Could even be passive income. You might need to get some. Or you might just start to really do your research in regards to passive income. It looks like you know that wherever you are and whatever job or whatever you're doing, you deserve more. Even the people 
maybe that patronize you if you have your own business. They feel like if they could, they would give you more. If you, your job you're in, you do such a great job. Let me show you how you do such a great job. They feel like they could give you more. If they could give you more, they would. Work gets rewarded. Do the work. You've been doing the work, and you're about to get rewarded for it. And um, it says that you need to make a plan. You need to write things down, okay? Failure to plan is a plan to fail. Write it down, all right? Put it on paper. Spell it out. Spell. Make a spell out of it. Spell it out, okay? So write it down. Um, some people, maybe in a career setting, a job, they don't want to let you go because you're a good person. And they know that they're not going to find anyone like you that works as hard as you, who cares as much as you. Um, some people don't want you to go from whatever it is you do because, you, you, once again, you're a good person. You do a really good job. And they just know they're not going to find anyone like you. You need to operate in a high level of self-awareness and understand the experience that people are having, the one that you're giving. It could be one of high quality. That's why people want to hang on to you. They hang on to what you say. It's like you know that you should be doing so much more. The judgment card, the first card out, it talks about knowing that you're destined for so much more, more than sitting at that desk doing whatever it is you do. Some of you need to get in control of your spending habits, okay? And don't decide to accept where you are. Move forward, okay? Yeah. So it looks like for career and finance right now, this is a time where you need to make some hard, fast decisions, but it's going to bring you to complete wish fulfillment. It's something that's going to change for you almost overnight. You might need to go into some calm deliberation opportunity for change and wealth is here maybe even managing other people's money um, and making money while you're doing it the queen of pentacles having more than enough the embodiment of the empress here maybe starting something from nothing this is what i have for you if it resonates go over to the website and book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and if you feel like you took something from the reading, you can always give something back. You could buy me a coffee. The link is below. And if you, again, want to be around business-minded individuals, go ahead and join the KTMG. Keep the momentum going. Monthly conference call where we talk about all things uh, practical and spiritual in terms of business, how to start, maintain, or grow your business, right? And um, and if you want to hop on a complimentary discovery call, go ahead and do that. So thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.